Lord, praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, God, it's been a good God. Hallelujah. You've been a mighty God. You've been a sovereign God. Hallelujah. You want to wake up with, with this giving in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We won't prolong the service any longer. We're going to put a service with prayer and scripture. Amen. I'll be reading the 134th Psalm. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless the out of Zion. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Father God, we come to you on this morning with a grateful heart, Father God. We come thanking you, O oh God, for another Sunday morning, Father God. Thank you, Father God, how you watched over us all last night, Father God, and allowed us to wake on this morning, Father God. Father God, we thank you right now for today, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So now, God, in the name of Jesus, we come thanking you right now for the preacher, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We already know that a word is on its way. Father God, and we thank you for the songs that will be sung the prayers that will be prayed, Father God, and we ask, Father God, that someone will ask, what must I do to be saved in the mighty name of Jesus? We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, anybody came to praise the Lord this morning? Anybody love to praise him this morning?
gracious in heaven, we find the Lord God. We just come to you, Lord, as humbled as we know how, Lord God. Just thanking you, Lord God, for finding it not robbery, Lord God, to call our names one more time, Lord God. Just thanking you, Lord God, for keeping us, Lord God, as we slept through the night, Lord God. Just thanking you, Lord God, for all that you continue to do in our lives, Lord God. Father, we just ask, Lord God, that you just come into this place of worship, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you fill us with your love, Lord God, your grace and your mercy, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you just continue to just be with your people, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you touch those, Lord God, that are in bereavement, Lord God, those that are just going through, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you just meet the needs of your people, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, in advance for a blessed word, Lord God. We ask a special blessing, Lord God, over our pastor, Lord God, that you continue to touch him, Lord God, continue to order his steps, Lord God. Continue to lead God and direct him how only you see fit, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for those that are here under the sound of my voice, Lord God. Those that have tuned in via Facebook, Lord God, and Zoom, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you just bless them in a mighty way, Lord God. Now we ask a special blessing over the absent body of this church, Lord God, that you just be with them, Lord God, in their respective ways. We can't thank you enough for who you are, Lord God, all that you are, Lord God, and all that you will continue to be. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I will trust you and obey when the
Is this on the doors of the church? Oh, we come on the church. Hallelujah. Amen. We certainly want to welcome you today to New Life Christian Church where our doors swing on the hinges of welcome. Amen. And certainly we welcome those that are viewing online uh, and those that are in the sanctuary. Good to see you. Uh, good to be with you. Amen. Amen. We've made it very convenient. Get out of bed. Take your house shoes off. Come to church, come to church, come to church, come to church, come to church. Come to church. Amen. Amen. Certainly the gospel is being preached and we are uh, doing the Great Commission, going into the hedges, highways, byways, subways, airways. Amen. Amen. But there's nothing that will replace the assembling of ourselves together. Amen. 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 There's certain the certain energy, a certain love that is that abounds when you come to the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. It certainly uh, has been our uh, rock and our fortress, a very present help in time of trouble. Amen. 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 It is the church, in church. particular the black church, that has brought us thus far along the way. I am a defender of the church. Amen. I'm not one of those people that tear down the church. Amen. I build it up. I lift it up. I, wherever I go, I talk about the church. Amen. It's not antiquated. It's not old school. The church is relevant. Amen. I don't know about you, but I need it. I need old folks to say, this is uh, the filling station. Amen. This is our place of refuge. Amen. I said all that. Amen. Good to see uh, our good friend. I don't know if I should call his name. Amen. Want to know where he is, amen. But certainly, uh, amen. A brother beloved, amen. Uh, Reverend Dr. Al Platt and Dr. Gwendolyn Platt, visiting with us today. Amen. Certainly, it is a joy divine. Amen. I can't preach one of his sermons today. I might have to file it again. Amen. 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 I'll give them a tithe anyway. Amen. Church meeting this Thursday. Amen. Amen. Church meeting by way of Zoom. Please come, everybody, lottie daddy, so we can conduct the business of the church. Amen. 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 Now, Pastor won't be on that meeting. Amen. 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 But uh, certainly our, our officers will conduct the business of the meeting. Um, a lot of it is going to talk about pastor's anniversary. I don't want to be there. Amen. My ego can't handle it. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to say any more about that. Amen. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Initial sermon of Brother Anthony Webb. Come on. I want the church full. August 29th. Amen. 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 Certainly, certainly we want to support our own Amen. Yeah. As God continues to raise up yeah. those in the church. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And wasn't Daddy pushing them? Amen. Yeah. I certainly didn't push you. Because I know this is a blessed burden. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This calling is a burden. Amen. But a blessing. Yeah. Amen. 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 But what I would like to say now, your, your life will be in a fishbowl. That's right. Amen. 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 Folks will be looking. You watch what you say and what you don't say. Amen, amen. But, but certainly we thank God for that. Battle of the believers. Come on, y'all. I want everybody. We're going we to have a good time. We're going to do some bowling and some laser tag. Amen. And the wings and the pizza are going to be outstanding. That is uh, on, what's the date? What's the date? Praise the Lord. 24th, Friday, September 24th, amen, the, the children's to be back in school, amen, y'all have done all your school shopping amen. by then, amen, amen, so come on out, it's uh, for a donation of $30, we're going to have a good time at the Fun Flex, and uh, it's going to be our third annual, I got a trophy upstairs, I think, I think Nia got a trophy somewhere, amen, amen, amen. we're going to get it back, amen, amen. 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 And uh, please save the date, Pastor's uh, 21st anniversary on uh, the 24th of October. Amen. Amen. Where did the time go? Both pastor and people. And 
when God is joined together, let no man put us under. Amen. 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 I serve with the best people anywhere. Amen. Amen. I was just, I was just thinking uh, across the years how God has been good to us. Yes. God has blessed us, smiled on us. Amen. We, we started in Mother Webb's lower level. That's right, that's right, you better right. not say the basement. In the lower level. My Lord. Amen. And certainly God has smiled on new life. Amen. As we found a home here in the great city of Bloomfield, township of Bloomfield. Amen. I was able to purchase an old warehouse. Amen. And convert it across the years. Amen. Amen. And God is not finished with us yet. Amen. Amen. The goal is we're going to tear down and build up. Amen. Amen. And uh, so God has smiled pastor and people. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, it is offering time. Come on, bless the Lord. Amen. Offering time. Amen. It said that you can give without loving, but certainly you cannot love without giving. And we thank all those that are have been sowing into this ministry uh, throughout the pandemic and just sowing into this ministry. We thank you so, so very much. Amen. And we've made giving so convenient. If you're giving online by way of PayPal, it is New Life, New Life Bloomfield at gmail.com. And you can give by way of PayPal if you're giving by way of Cash App. The Cash App number is 973 670 1899. Again, 973-670-1899. And if the name comes up, Kevin Clark, don't fear. My Lord. The Bible says, be not afraid. My Lord. Amen. Amen. It is our trustee. Amen. 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 And certainly he can be trusted. So All right, then. Uh, please well, give. And if you're giving, uh, the church doors are open. We do have trustees in the building. Uh, certainly you can leave offering and your tithe with us. I want to pray. I want to bless this tithe of the offering. Our God and our Father, it is in your Son Jesus' name that we pray. Pray, God, that you will bless this tithe. Bless the offering today and that will come in throughout the week, Lord. We pray your blessings upon it a hundredfold. Now, Lord, bless the giver, those that had a mind to give but not the resources. Now, Lord, we offer it to you for a sweet-smelling savor. God, we thank you in the matchless, the strong name of Jesus. And all the people of God said, amen. amen. Let us stand all things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own.
But Lord has to send a revival. Amen. And let it begin. Come on and let it begin with me. Now God, we come to the moment of proclamation. Lower us way down in the deep well of your word. Bring us up with a fresh anointing. Give us clarity. Help us to see it and then to say it. Now Lord, fill our mouth with important stuff. Sit us down when we set it. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. 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 Scripture will be read into your hearing. I want to use that as a jumping off place, but I want to also direct you to uh, the New Testament book of Romans in the 8th chapter. Yeah. Romans in the 8th chapter, and I'm going to start reading at verse number 38. Romans 8.38 It says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, height nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. I want to talk about God's love. God's love. God's love is a little different than our type of love. I heard about these guys that were playing golf on the green and they were shooting. They had to go across the road. Uh, but there was a funeral procession that was coming by. One of the guys golfing took off his hat and he just stood still. And the others that were golfing with him said, you know what, I've never seen such respect, such such great reverence for a funeral. And the guy responded, he said, well, you know, uh, that was my wife, and uh, I, thought I, I, thought I, I, thought, I thought I should just pay some. Our love is a little different than Right now. The God's love. One of my favorite, favorite movies growing up is Beauty and the Beast. And in this movie, the main character is this, this beast. I mean, he's, he's, he's a beast. He behaves awful, y'all. He, he looks horrible. He's antisocial. But, but in the movie, Beauty does something for him. Beauty does something that changes his behavior. Uh, she begins to, to treat him kindly begins to show him some love and, and, and the beast just starts to, to change. Uh, his look begins to change. His whole life is changing. And, and that's what God does for us when we accept God's love into our life. And no matter how vile we act, no matter how crazy we get, no matter what mess we've done, you know what? God still loves us. God, God's love is a little different than, than our love. We we, 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 we have to understand that God's love is different. And, 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 and that's what the, the whole gospel hinges on, is God's love. If you don't get that, you don't get anything else. I, I don't care how much you think you know the Bible. I don't care if you read the Bible cover to cover. If you don't understand the love of God and uh, all the other principles won't work. That's right. God's love is different. It's unique, it's matchless, it's unusual, it's extraordinary, it's astonishing, it's outstanding, it's uh, 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 amazing. I'm talking about God's love. It's so uh, hard for us to comprehend because it's so different than our love. God's love is, is, is different, it's unique. Uh, and, and because of some of the things we've done in our own life, because of the guilt that we have, it's difficult for us to accept the love of God. Yeah. It, it, it's hard. It's hard because it, we made some mistakes. Uh, we, we, we really don't feel lovable uh, uh, because of the mistakes, because of the wrong turns, because of the wrong paths, because uh, we played the wrong hand, we hooked up with the wrong people, we done the wrong things. We believe that God can't love us. Because of that, we, we have a hard time accepting uh, that free gift that God has given us in love. Uh, because in our own lives, love 
has gone bad, y'all. Some of us have given up on love. Because that man that, that said he loved you is now loving somebody else. We, we've given up on love. Uh, there was there was an old R and B song in the seventies I meant uh, that said uh, by Rolls Royce said love don't live here anymore. <laughs> don't 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 confuse uh, God's love for for people's love. Uh, the love people show can increase and decrease. Uh, it, it's conditional. It it increases with performance and decreases with mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, people will love you until they stop. Right. People will love you until you tell them no. Right. Uh, people will love you until you don't do what they want you to do. Right. People right. will love you as long as you're doing it their way. Right. As long as you're doing what's pleasing in their sight. Right. I, I've seen people's love fail. Right. Fathers will stop loving daughters because they got pregnant. Mm. Uh, parents will stop loving a son or a daughter because they're gay. My I've seen church folks become unloving and downright hateful. Uh, say they love you in the sanctuary and cuss you out in the parking lot. I, I don't care how many tongues you speak. I don't care uh, how uh, long your, your, your dress is or how big your Bible is. If you don't understand the love of God, then your faith is useless. God's love doesn't have to be earned. Uh, how many times do we try to earn someone else's love. Uh, we, 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 we try to earn it because that's the way we operate. Uh, that's why uh, that's why some folks get turned out. They're trying to earn love. That's why some folks got so many babies. Did I say somebody because they're trying to earn love? That's why uh, 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 some folks uh, hate men. That's why uh, some folks uh, some men don't like women because they think all oh, uh, women are gold diggers. They ain't messing with no broke. But I stopped by the serve notice today that God's love never fails. God's love is unconditional, unfathomable, undescribable. God's love is endless. God's love is above all other love. You know the Greeks had three words for that one word, I love, I love. They had arrows, love. That's that Lutheranism. My <laughs> wow, Lord, they're only, only that, that's arrow, that's romantic love. Then they have philos love, that's that, that, that brotherly love. That's, we get our word Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. But then they had another word that they used for God's love. Uh, that's that agape love, that's that unconditional love. Uh, I only liken it to the love a mother would have for a son or a mother would have for a child. But but even that has conditions. But God's love is unconditional. Yes, right. yeah. If I ask my wife, well, why do you love me, babe? My Lord. She, she may say, well, you're so tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Maybe. Conditions. Right now. She may Maybe. say, well, uh, you're a good provider. Amen. Conditions. But when she asks me, I say, baby, I love you because I love you. Oh. Unconditional. Uh, no condition. <laughs> so in our text today, John 3.16, we, we all know the text. We cut our teeth on that text growing up. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The entire gospel comes into focus in this one verse. God's love is not just for a certain group of folks, thank God. It's not just for the Jews, not just for the chosen ones, but God's love is for the whole world. God's love is not static, it's not self-centered, it reaches out and it draws others. Here God's actions define the pattern of true love, uh, the basis for all love relationships. Uh, when you love someone, you're willing to sacrifice for that person dearly. Sacrificial love expresses itself without assurance that love will be returned in kind. What are you saying, preacher? Well, I I'm going to love you whether you love me or not. Yeah. I'm going to love you whether you talk about me, kick my back in. I'm still going to love you. 
Yeah. I'm not going to look for anything in return. And, 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 and that's what, that's what uh, uh, Jesus did. He gave himself for us because he loved us. Paul's words, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. Uh -huh. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yeah. While we were uh, out there doing everything we were big and bad enough to do, uh, he sent his son and he died for us. Uh, no matter what you've done in your life, God still loves you. Man. Uh, so, my brothers and my sisters, God's love is a little different than our love. Uh, John 3, 16, uh, uh, whether it was spoken by John or Jesus, is a good word, and it summarizes the gospel. Yeah. God's motivation toward uh, his people is love. Uh, that's the basis of the gospel. God's love is not limited to a few or just a small group. His gift is to the whole world. God's love was expressed in the giving of his most precious gift. Yeah. Uh, his son. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a wonderful gift. His son. Uh, the Greek word translated uh, uh, only here, one and only, referring to his son is monogenic. It, it means only begotten, only born one. His only son he gave to the world. On man's side, the gift is simply to be received, not earned. We, we've been learning in um, the book of Romans that it's not by works, but it's by grace. Uh -huh. It's by faith that we're saved. You can't earn it. There's nothing that you can do that God would love you any more, and there's nothing that bad you can do that God would love you any less. Man. God's love. Eternal life is a new quality of life. To give us eternal life. That means as a believer, we have a new life. We have a new way of living. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Yeah. For God so loved. Yeah. Uh, this does not mean that God approves of all of man's conduct. That's right. Uh, he doesn't give the stamp of approval on evil. Uh, that means that uh, God uh, doesn't approve of uh, your sneaking and creeping. My Lord. Uh, but he does. It's concerned about your happiness and your welfare. Amen. He hates sin, but he loves the sinner. Uh, a parent may love his child and desire his welfare uh, and still uh, not like or appreciate what that child does. Uh, you still want the best for your child, even though you don't approve of what they're doing. Uh, he said all the world, all of humankind, does it not mean a particular group, uh, but the whole race, wow. even though the race has rebelled, even though they don't deserve it, even though we deserve to die, uh, his love for the world and for all mankind yeah. uh, in giving his son uh, was shown in this circumstance, that while we were yet sinners, uh, he gave his son. Uh, uh, Gardner, T, Gardner C. Taylor. Uh, thank God I had him for preaching. Uh, he used to say, well, if you're looking for a sermon, if you're ever stuck for a sermon, here's a three-point sermon. The world is a mess. Uh, and uh, you can't do anything about it. Uh, number two, all people are in a hopeless condition. Point number three, because of his love, God gave his son, and man can claim that and be saved. That's your three-point sermon right there. Aunt. There you go. So John, in John, it says God loved the world. Can I talk about his love? Uh, in Romans 5 and 8, it says, But God condemned his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Uh, 1 John 4 and 9, uh, in this we manifest the love of God toward us, uh, because God sent his only begotten son 
into the world that we might live through him. Yeah. Herein is love. Not that we love God, but that God loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation of our sins. Our Romans 5 and 5 says, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Uh, come in, uh, Jesus. Jesus said to Peter, uh, Do you love me? Uh, Simon Barjona, do you love me? Uh, Peter answered, said, oh, Lord, you knoweth all things. Uh, he said then to him, then feed my sheep. Ask them again, uh, do you love me? Uh, he said, you know I love you, Lord. Wow. He said, then feed my sheep. Third time is a charm. He said, Simon Barjona, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved uh, because he asked him three times. But you know God got to keep asking us sometimes. Uh, and he said unto him, Lord, you know all things. You know it's that I love you. He said, feed my sheep. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad uh, that God loves me. Uh, and I love the Lord. God so loved the world. He loved it not knoweth not God for God is love in John, 1 John 4 and 16 it says and we have known and believed the love that God hath of us uh, God is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God I'm done uh, but in that 8th chapter of Romans uh, he poses some interrogatives uh, any some declaratives ask some questions and then he makes some statements uh, he says and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose for whom he did foreknow uh, he did also predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among the brethren moreover whom he did predestinate that he also called and whom he called he also justified and whom he justified he glorified now you Bible study folks know what I'm talking about we shall uh, when they see these things hallelujah if God be for us who can be against us he that spared his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things I said all things God will give us everything we need Paul raised and answered some forensic and some legal questions who will bring a charge against me uh, who can charge me who shall lay anything to charge of God's elect it is God that justifies it is God that condemns it is Christ that died yea rather that he has risen again who is even at the right hand of God who also maketh intercession who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril or the sword. And it is written, for thy sake we will be killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. That's all I'm trying to say. God's love is different. I'm done. I, I told you about that movie I love. Uh, but we too, I have to start loving the beast. Loving the unlovable. And watch folks start to change. Go on your job tomorrow and start loving your boss. Start loving your co-workers. Matter of fact, go home today. Start loving them folks in your home. And watch folks start to change. Love is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that 
people that ever ask or think. I remember some years ago, uh, Anthony had a splinter in his hand. I don't know if he remembers. It was painful in his hand. And I had, as his daddy, I had to pull out that splinter. Now, it was painful for me to have to dig in his hand and pull out that splinter. I knew it was painful, but I had to continue to take out that splinter because me as his daddy, knew that after the pain would come some relief and somebody today is going through some pain all I'm trying to say is God is pulling out that split God is making it right you're going to go through some pain but it's going to be relief after the pain I'm glad about it I'm glad about it me and first lady just celebrated 23 years of holy matrimony, of bliss. I was listening to a therapist, uh, Dr. Phil. He had a couple, uh, and he said, you need to write down why you ain't. They started writing. The man started writing why he was angry. The wife started writing why she was angry. The more she wrote, the more he wrote. The more he wrote, the madder she got. The more he wrote, you could see the look in her face. Finally, they started to read what was on the paper. Uh, and she handed hers in first. A list of all the things she was angry about. The husband, uh, he started to read off his. And it said, I love you. I love you. I may be angry, but I love you. Made me mad right now, but I love you. And it came to me that love covers a multitude of sin. I don't care what you're going through. If you love somebody, God will cover a multitude of sin. God, Jesus died to cover my sin because He loved me. You do know Him, don't you? You do know Him. People say, Where? Why do you ask? Do you know him? Cause I need to know him. Do you know him? I'm so glad that I know him today. Do you know my Jesus? Do you know him today? I'm glad I know him. I'm glad I know him. You know he wrote no books, but libraries are filled with books about him. He wrote no music, but we sing songs about him. I'm glad I know him today. Uh, oh no, our uh, animal, uh, but he rode into Jerusalem uh, on a donkey. Uh, I'm glad I know him, uh, buried in somebody else's tomb. Uh, I'm glad I know him today. On the third day he rose. Uh, I'm glad I know him today. I'm glad while I was yet a sinner, he died. Yeah, he died. He died. No greater love than a man give his life. Ah, yeah. Scarcely would you give your life for somebody that you like. But while we were yet acting the fool, Christ died for us. That's love. And my brothers and my sisters, that's what our entire gospel hinges on. All of us have a birthmark. I ain't gonna ask you where your birthmark is. I ain't even gonna ask you what it looked like. But everyone has a birthmark. And as Christians, we all have a birthmark. And that birthmark is love. They shall know us by our love. I want to pray for you today. It may be someone that is out of the ark of safety. Someone today that has never given their life to Christ. The one that we sing about. The one that we preach about. The one that died on a cross for each of us. 
If you've never accepted Christ in your life, if there's something missing in your life, I guarantee it's not more money. It's not a better relationship except the relationship with him. Christ is the answer. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you for this time of worship. We thank you for your plan of salvation. Thank you, Lord, there's no initiation fees. There are no hazing practices. You said in your word, if we believe in our heart, confess with our mouth, we shall be saved. So that we confess that you came down through 40 and two generations. You were born of a virgin. You lived and performed miracles. That you went to Calvary's cross. That you took the sin of the world upon yourself. You died for us. You were buried in a tomb and you rose on the third day. We believe that you're seated at the right hand of the Father and that you will return. We pray now that you will prick hearts. Come into someone's heart today, oh God. Come and sup with them. God, we thank you for this time. Somebody today is going through. They're struggling with depression, struggling with bowed heads, struggling with disease or sickness. God, we know you to be a healer. So in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will release healing virtue right now. Yes. Heal all manner of sickness. We come against AIDS and HIV. We come against cancer in the strong name of Jesus. Regulate blood pressure. Fix diabetes, oh God. We know that you're able. We pray that you will. Somebody's suffering from mental illness, but God, we know you're a mind regulator. Pray for the bereaved families right now, Lord. Right. Lord, let them know earth has no sorrow. Heaven cannot heal. We pray, God, that you allow the tears to flow, but at the appointed hour, wipe every tear from their eyes. Lord, we're praying for our seniors right now. They've been on the wall a long time, oh God. Let them know, Lord, that greater days are yet ahead. Touch our young people as they are returning to school, oh God. Preparing to go back to campus preschool, middle school, high school. Lord, be with them the remainder remainder of this summer. And then be with them, Lord, as they return to school. Bless us on our jobs, oh God, and bless us in our homes. Somebody's home is in turmoil. We speak peace into that situation. We pray, God, that homes will be better than when we left them. Touch only as thou can. Lord, we're lifting up New Life Church. We're lifting up every church that is open in your name. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to keep the doors open even through a pandemic. Only you, God. Now, God, we thank you for your love. Ah, thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for loving us when we don't feel lovable. Thank you, oh God, for being a shelter in time of storm. When we didn't have sense enough to come in out of the rain. Lord, you are our shelter. Now, Lord, we're praying for all those that we're duty-bound to pray for. Bless only as thou canst. 
Now, God, when praying days will be over and books and Bibles will be closed, on that day when we too have to transition, on that day when men might say good things and men might say bad things, we just want to hear you say, well done, good and faithful servant. Come on up from labor to reward. We've come to the close of this watch. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, present a spotless before your throne of grace. May the grace of God and the sweet holy communion rest, rule, and abide with us, henceforth now and forevermore. And the people of God said, Go in peace.